So welcome to my video on converting degrees into radians and also converting radians to degrees. And when talking about an angle, most people know that you can express an angle in the unit of degrees. But many people don't know that you can also express an angle in a unit that we call radians. And in this video I'm not going to explain to you what a radian actually is or how we came up with that unit. I'm, I'll make a separate video for that that I'll post a link for. Um, but in this video, just to save you a little bit of time, I'm just going to strictly focus on converting from uh, degrees to radians and from radians to degrees. So in order to convert, the only thing that you need to know is that 180 degrees is exactly equal to an angle of pi radians. All right, that's the only thing that we need to know. So let's get started right with an example. Let's say that we have... Sorry about that. Let's say we have an angle of 60 degrees. And we want to convert this angle of 60 degrees, and we want to convert it into radians. And anytime I do any type of conversion, I always make uh, what I like to call a conversion tool. And this conversion tool is just a big parenthesis with a fraction. And in the denominator of the fraction, you always have the same units that you start with. Um, since we're starting with degrees, then we know that in the denominator, we also have to have degrees. And in the numerator of our conversion tool, uh, we always have to have the units that we're going to end with. Uh, since, we're go since we're going from degrees into radians, that means that we have to have radians in the numerator since that's what we're going to end with. Also, in the conversion tool, the numerator and the denominator have to be exactly equal always. Um, so we know that 180 degrees is exactly equal to pi radians. And once we do that, now we are ready to officially um, convert. So let's simplify this as much as possible. Notice how the degrees cancel out. And we're left with 60 times pi, so I'll just write that as 60 pi. And in the denominator, we have a 180, and we also have a radians in the numerator. So now we've actually converted from degrees into radians. This is uh, 60 degrees is equal to 60 pi over 180 radians, uh, but this needs to be simplified even further. We know that 60 over 180 is equal to one third, so you can so this is actually one third pi, or you can say pi over three radians. So now we have officially converted from degrees to radians. 60 degrees is equal to pi over three radians. Um, so now let's go over an example from going from radians to degrees. All right, so let's say that we have an angle of five pi over 3 radians and we need to convert this into degrees and once again I'm gonna make my conversion tool a parentheses just with a fraction and in the denominator of the fraction you always have to have the same units that we're starting with since we're starting with radians then we have to have radians in the denominator and in the numerator we have to have the units that we're ending with. Since we're going to degrees, we need to have degrees in the numerator. Once again, the numerator and the denominator have to be exactly equal, and we know that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. And now we're ready to convert. Uh, notice how the radians cancel out. Uh, we also have a pi that cancels out. And we are left with 5 over 3 in the front, and that is multiplied by 180 degrees. So now that we've converted into degrees, we just need to simplify this as much as possible. Um, you can multiply 5 over 3 times 180 by typing this into your calculator, um, or you can cross multiply. If we cross multiply, this 3 becomes a 1, and the 180 becomes a 60. And the only thing we're left with is 5 times 60, which is 300. And instead of writing degrees with the letters DEG, I'm just going to use the degree symbol, which is, which is just a little dot. 
So we know that 5 pi over 3 radians is equal to 300 degrees. So I hope this gave you a better idea on how to convert radians and degrees. I actually hope that this gave you a better idea of just how to convert any units in general. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one.